Happy Wednesday morning, y'all. Uh, I hope you all have your coffee in hand like I do, because you know, Wednesday, it's a little, get a little dryy. I know I am. Um, we're really excited. We got some awesome questions this week, and uh, I'm just going to read out a question from our buddy Matt, because we loved it, and we get asked this all the time. So um, this is the one that we felt was the one that we really wanted to answer. So let me read it out. What is the biggest cha challenge starting up a business that offers graphic design services when there are a ton of amateur Photoshop apps, experts out there? How do you show your clients the value in a service that may many claim to be able to do or deliver cheap? Oh, good question, good question. I feel like Shaner's gonna start. Well, the big problem is uh, this happens to a lot of business. It happens in landscaping, it happens in Pretty much any profession where people don't see the value in something non-tangible like something you can't touch um, like just because you're a good graphic designer does it mean you're an artist and just because you're an artist does it mean you're a graphic designer like there's so many different things that happen because of this and we've had so many clients that have not totally understood what we did like they took our word for it but they just didn't totally grasp it so there was always lots of questions so they're like why this why that which is great you just answer those questions but sometimes there are people that just don't understand your value and the big thing is you have to know your value first and Lisa knows all about this because she's a graphic designer. Yeah, so I, I don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people out there that have a natural skill. Um, I think that natural skill in tone with uh, schooling and experience are huge. So in my own experience, um, I went to graphic design and advertising school. And then I was in the advertising world for about 13 years before I decided to go out on my own. And yeah, it's tough when you're first starting out. And I'm not, I'm not one to like mention the kind of clients that I worked on in the past. I don't know, it's modesty, whatever it be. But uh, yeah, it's uh, for us. It's the experience that we bring to the table. Like you know, Shane. It's a, it's a really great duo to have Shane, who is the you know development end of things, and where I design and I make things look pretty and I bring that branding aspect of thing. So it works really well for us. And I think the one thing that really differ, it makes us different than everyone else is the fact like it's our personalities. We love the people we work with. We wanna go for a beer with the people we work with, all those things. So if anything, yeah, it's tough to sometimes explain to people what's the difference between us and our pricing and then what's, uh, what, the pricing of somebody that's maybe just getting out of school or maybe just doing this for fun like yes of course their pricing is going to be cheaper because you don't have the experience that comes behind it with the experience comes you know the more expensive pricing and with that being said um there are people way more expensive than us yeah like <laughs> way <laughs> we really try to when it comes to pricing we really try to be like affordable for the small to medium-sized businesses because those are the people we want to work with we love working from the ground up and you know building logos building websites all for new companies so we need to know we need to make sure our pricing is awesome and we've always when we go and talk to new clients we say you know we have affordable pricing with all this experience because we have the smaller uh, we don't have as many expenses. We don't have the big office. We don't have like all these employees. We work with contractors. We don't, you know, we, we pur purposely have done it that uh, we, um, we have a lot more less expenses. So, we use local resources. And we use a lot of local resources. So like it's really important to us that our contractors are local. Um, we're, we're involved in the local economy and, you know, giving, uh, these local people, you know, instead of going to Fiverr and, and all these other places, working with local because, you know, there's a lot of really awesome talent in this area. So, yeah. So I hope that answers your question. Um, and uh, I hope that 
you know, if you guys have any more questions on like what di what makes Provoke different and why we do pricing the way we do and all those wonderful things, feel free to ask us for more. We're an open book. We want to. We've been in. We've been doing this business for three years together, and I started the business myself in 2013. So yeah, we love giving back. So, and if there's any questions out there, feel free to ask us. And so, I hope you guys have an awesome Wednesday. Get the coffees in because, you know, it's gonna be fun. Talk to you all soon.